this one here d e and f are respectively the midpoints of side b c c and a b of triangle a b c we have this triangle a b c where e is the midpoint of a c d is the midpoint of b c and f is the midpoint of a b we have to show that b d e f b d e f it's a parallelogram and area of DEF, this triangle in the middle is one fourth of full triangle ABC. And then we have to show BDEF is half of triangle ABC. Okay. So let's first of all prove BDEF is a parallelogram. Okay. All right. ED joins the midpoints of two of the sides of triangle ABC. In that case, as per theorem, ED would be parallel to AB. When ED is parallel to AB, alright, when ED is parallel to AB, ED would be parallel to FB also. So now I have ED is parallel to FB first. Now, ED would be equal to half of AB as per theorem. So, ED is equal to FB because AF is equal to FB. F is the midpoint in that case. AF, FB is equal. Second. Now, you see, ED is parallel to FB, ED is equal to FB. So I'll write from 1 and 2, B, D, E, F is a parallelogram. Or if you like, you can take E, F parallel to B, C because E, F is also joining the midpoints of two of the sides. So that would be parallel and half of the third side. So E, F would be parallel to B, C. So EF will be parallel to BD. EF would be equal to BD. So EF parallel to BD. EF equal to BD. ED parallel to FB. ED equal to FB. Makes BD EF as a parallelogram. So this is done. Now BD EF is a parallelogram. All right. And DF is the diagonal. In that case, we know the theorem. In case of a parallelogram, diagonals bisect parallelogram into two congruent triangles. So, triangle E, D, E, F would be congruent to triangle B, D, F. In that case, area of triangle D, E, F will be equal to area of triangle BDF. EDF and BDF will have same area. Now, the way we have proved BDEF as a parallelogram, we can prove AEDF also as a parallelogram. All right. When AEDF will be a parallelogram, area of AEF will be equal to area of DEF, same way CEFD can be proved as parallelogram. In that case, now you see area of DEF is equal to this area, area of DEF is equal to this area, and area of DEF is equal to this area. Now I'll write area of triangle AB. C, which is equal to area of CD plus CD plus AEF plus BDF plus DEF. Now, DEF is equal to this, this, and this. In that case, area of ABC, triangle ABC will be this, this and this. These three triangles can be replaced with DEF. So I have DEF plus DEF plus DEF plus DEF means, means 
4 go this side. So I have 1 over 4 area of ABC equals to area of DEF. Done? Now it says BDEF. BDEF. This is equal to half of ABC. I'll write here. Area of BDEF is equal to area of DEF plus area of BDF. This can be written as area of DEF plus area of DEF because area of DEF and BDF, DEF and BDF they are equal. So this will be 2 area of DEF. Okay. Area of ABC is 4 area of DEF. Area of ABC is equal to 4 area of DEF. We have proved this. Here also, area of DEF is equal to 1 over 4 of area of ABC. Same thing, 4 area of DEF is equal to area of ABC. If I divide both the sides by 2, 1 over 2 area of ABC is equal to 4 area of BEF over 2. So, half area of ABC is equal to 2 area of DEF. Area of BDEF, BDEF is equal to 2 area of DEF. And half area of ABC is equal to 2 area DEF means this equals to this. I'll write area of, if I take this as say 1 and this as a 2, so from 1 and 2, area of BDEF is equal to half area of ABC. Done?